Today, I'm going to demonstrate the last two of our eight chi absorption postures. Last week, we saw the sixth, the golden bell, and you saw all five postures also included uh, with the sixth. And today, we're just going to take the last two, and then next week, you'll see all of the eight chi absorption postures together. So the first posture we're going to take is called the dialectic stance. It's also been called the shield and spear stance, which I think when you see it, it may feel a little bit like you're holding a shield and a spear. <laughs> so the first, first thing is the feet. So my weight is back on this leg, on my standing leg, and then my toe is a little bit forward, actually with the, with the tip of the toe just touching the ground. And the heel can be either touching the ground or a little bit lifted off. You'll have to feel how, that, how you sense that inside of your body. And then the arms slightly rounded. This one is actually a little bit closer to me and this one is extended out almost in relationship to the foot that's extended and the fingers are open and the gaze goes into the distance. I'm going to show you this posture to the side what it looks like. So again, weight back, toe slightly touching forward, so 90, 10. And this is where I would have my, my spear, and this one is my shield. So either toe touching or foot. The last, the eighth posture, is white crane spreads its wings. So we take it, actually we step back, and you lift your arms as if you're a bird. And the, the arms are always in relationship, so if one is a little higher, the other one's a little lower, as if the wings are always have to be connected, to connect to the wind. The fingers again spread out. And the foot can be on the ground or with the, the toe, just the little toe actually touching the floor so that the hip sort of opens a little bit and there's a sort of S curve in the leg. So the, the arms are in an S curve and the leg is in a little S curve. But most of my weight is back on the back leg, so I can actually lift the leg off the ground. If it's difficult and I need to be able to have both legs on the ground, it's fine to let this one rest. But just with the toe touching, just so I have a little bit of balance. But then if I can, lift it off. And we're going to do that with the other side. So again, arms can just come a little bit closer to the screen so you can see. And then lifting up. So there's a little S curve almost coming into the, into the hip. So we're going to take another variation of white crane spreads its wings, which is the full eighth chi absorption posture. So this is the first posture, the leg lifted, and then I bring the, actually the palm overhead, over the top of my head, 
with the palm up and then the back of the palm underneath the knee. And then we'll take the other side. So those are the last two postures. So next week, we'll take all eight.